Hello everyone, it's Pai Guru this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn about OTP bypass using this post manipulation. So here I have a website Insta Financials. It's quite popular in the financial world. If you uh, know about retail finance, you might already have visited this website. So this is, will be our target website and this website has a uh, very simple bug which we are going to exploit and bypass the OTP. Okay. So what I will do, I will just copy this URL and open it in my Firefox browser because my I have configured Word my Firefox with Perp Suite. So let's just go to open this uh, website in Firefox. Then I'll open my Perp Suite here. You can use the Pro as well as Community Edition Tracing Matrix. So what I will try to do is I will try to uh, do a sign up here. Okay, so that I can show you the OTP bypass for mail as well as uh, phone number for both. Okay, so let's get started. So here I'll click sign up. And then I'll just uh, it says enter your full name. So I'll just write anything. Let's say uh, okay, anything. Then I have a email address. You can again use any email address that you want. But uh, I'm going to use uh, temp mail which I have at the star mail dot. Net. This is my temp mail which I'm currently using. Here uh, I'm using plus one. Uh, you can actually create multiple images by uh, writing like this plus one plus two plus three in your original image. Okay, so before add the date, you can add any uh, number like plus one plus hundred anything, and you will create a mail. But that mail will point to your original mail only. So let me just show you my original mail ID, which is temporary, which is this. Okay, I have just added a plus one here, and if this website lets me create a uh, email sorry account with this email then uh, i can create any number of accounts using c email, okay so uh, country will be india let's be india here and then select state will be p so i'll select the place and then click i am not a robot and then i agree to step and seals and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here and turn on the uh, open open the web suite go to proxy tab and turn off the intercept so it's turned on now. Now what is intercept? Basically, uh, from now on, whichever request this website sends to its server, this uh, that request will come to us first using web suite. Then it will go to uh, their server if we want. Then on. So I'm just going to click on get email OTP. So let's check. Uh, what we have to do? We have to ignore all such uh, requests which are not for from this website. Like www. Uh, we have to only consider these. Uh, request message from Insta pencils. Rest all ignored. So just forward, forward, forward. Now this is a post. Here we have to check what is this. Basically, here it's saying uh, the URL is accounts is sign up dot ASPX save sign up details HTTP. So basically, it's sending my uh, basic details to the server, which I just passed in the input boxes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this request and then click on do intercept and response to this. After that, let's just forward it and keep forwarding until you get back that uh, request. See, this is where the request that just step forward and it's this response here. It's, it's in response. So here, let's see. It says invalid. Uh, what we can do, if it doesn't work, we'll try with another email. Uh, here, it's written invalid. I've just typed valid. Let's say if it does something. Okay, so forward, forward. And if I just come back here, uh no it's not didn't work i guess i have to change the uh recapture here okay so let's try once again uh turn on the intercept and let's try to send the get email otp if it doesn't work then we try with another email okay so i'll just forward for now and uh let's see if it works or not Please enter valid email. Okay, so it doesn't consider this plus one, so we have to ignore this. But uh, I'll have to use some another uh, email. So I have another email. I'll just open this one. Okay, so uh, this is another template. You can generate any number of uh, temporary emails from this website, or you can use any website or your email as well. So I'll just pass this original one. Okay, with our new one. And uh, again, turn on the uh, intercept, and then I'll pass. Uh, sorry, click on get email OTP, 
and I'll check this time what response it sends to me. So let's forward it, and this time let's see. Uh, it says new user. Okay, so it will allow me to create a new imp uh, account from a new email ID. Okay, so let's forward it, and what it will do is uh, OTP sent to your email successfully. Okay, so let's just go to and pass all these things forward, and then forward. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, we have to only check for post request. Okay, don't uh, try to do anything with get request because they don't do anything. So let's just pass all these things. And here it says enter email OTP. If I just go to my uh, browser here and request this mail, let's say if I have got any mail on. So here you can see I have uh, got the OTP. Let me just open it. And it says your OTP email OTP 7213. So if I type 7213 here, I will simply uh, verify my email. But let's say I don't know my the OTP that I just took. So what I will do is I just type any random value. Uh, here I'll just type zero. So just try typing any uh, random OTP. Let's say zero 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 and zero. Okay, so it doesn't take zero actually. Uh, I thought uh, there was some issue from my side, but it is not taking zero, so there will be no zero in the OTP. So let's just try it with one, two, three, four. Okay, and then before verifying, I'll just turn on my intercept again. Sorry, I have to turn off it multiple times because this site is sending multiple uh, requests in packet. So let's just click on verify email now, and then uh, we have to ignore analytics.google.com, but we have to. Uh, intercept this one finance interpenance.com this is a post request and this says uh, sign up email OTP verify email OTP okay so this is actually verifying OTP and here you can see it's sending my email and the OTP that I just typed so I'll again just right click on this and do intercept response to this request and I'll simply forward it then how we have to ignore this 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 and this one but we have to uh, check for this one this is the response of the request that we just sent after uh, altering so here we can see it says 200 okay so we don't have to change anything here but here it says d equals 2 now what this means uh the best way you can like find bugs on website is to try sending an uh like actual email then pass the actual utp so you will know what is the response for success here it says it simply says 2 and i don't know what 2 means but uh, my random guess will be uh, the OTP is not verified because this is not the correct one. Uh, here I will simply if I type 1 and then forward it, it will uh, bypass the OTP for me because 1 simply means true. So let's say if it's written failure, you can write success. If it's written 0, you can write 1. If it's written 2, you can write 1. Anything like this. Okay. So uh, rather than simply guessing, you can actually pass the original email and original OTP and check for the response. What we are getting response when we have passed the correct OTP. So let's just try after altering uh, the response and I'll just forward it. And then let's see. See, our email was verified successfully. Even though we didn't pass the original OTP, which is 7213, we successfully passed the OTP. Uh, okay, so let me just turn off this intercept. For some time and then it says to enter my phone number as well now i don't want to uh say my original phone number so i'll just type randomly any number let's say two three four five six seven eight nine one zero add this 10 digits uh six seven eight nine ten yes these are 10 digits so let's try getting a uh otp again this phone number doesn't exist so i'll just click on get mobile otp uh, and we have to ignore this request, but consider this Insta Finances post request, and it checks my phone, takes the phone number that I've just passed, and then it will say it's whether it sent the OTP on this number or not. So I'll simply forward it. After intercepting, then we have to ignore, ignore, and check for this request response. So it says D equals success. Okay, so if uh, let's say if it was written failure here, what you will do? will simply uh, write success in place of failure but it's already coming success so what we will do is we'll simply forward it and let's say if 
it sent the OTP. So yes, it says OTP has been sent, though this number doesn't exist. Now again, we have to bypass the number for uh, OTP for this number, and since this number doesn't exist, I can't get any OTP on this. Again, I'll simply type that uh, any random OTP, and then again click on the verify on mobile number. Okay. So uh, then we have to ignore, 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 but uh, check for this request which is post on Insta Finance. So it takes the phone number that I've just passed and then the OTP that I just passed. We'll right click on it, do intercept and then response to this request. Power it, ignore, ignore and then again intercept to see the response. And again it says 2. 2 again it's a failure because since this is not a correct OTP what we will do? We'll simply type 1 here and forward it. And let's see if it works or not. Okay, so our mobile number is verified successfully. Now we don't need the intercept. So you can see we have simply bypassed both the uh, email OTP as well as phone number OTP. In that case, when phone number did even exist. So now we want some uh, password. Let's try with anything. And I'll just simply copy it and then I'll paste it here. It was the user security generated password and then set password. Let's try it. Okay, password is set. Uh, we will ignore the billing information. We skip now and remind it. Okay, so we have successfully bypassed both the OTPs for email as well as phone. Now, this is a very simple bug in websites and you will find it on multiple websites. So, yes, this is how you can bypass OTP using response manipulation. Hope you learned something new. If you love this video, leave a like or dislike. If you're not, I still subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.